Can you all be quiet, please? Thank you. One of the most inspiring of Lord Krishna's forms is Lord Sri Narasimha Dev. Lord Narasimha descended to protect his devotee, Prahlad, from the atheistic king Hiranyakashipu, Prahlad's father. Hiranyakashipu's enmity towards Lord Vishnu had begun when the Lord, in his form of a giant boar, Varahadev, he killed Hiranyakashipu's twin brother, Hiranyaksha, Hiranyaksha's sons, his brother Hiranyakashipu, and his mother Diti were very much aggrieved by this killing of Hiranyaksha. Hiranyakashipu consoled his grieving mother, and here we go. What a miserable day. Oh, my poor son Hiranyaksha is no more. He's dead. He's been killed. Oh, how is a mother supposed to move on? How can I mother bear this? How am I supposed to carry on with my life? Oh, my poor dear son. Oh, my dear mother, please do not cry, for here is to die in front of the enemy is glorious. So you should not lament for the death of my beloved brother here in Yaksha. Hmm. Vishnu. Vishnu has taken the form of a boar and killed my brother here in Yaksha. I will find him and I will cut his neck with my sword. With blood gushing out of his body, I will offer it to my brother Hiranyaksha, who is fond of drinking blood. Then I shall be peaceful. O oh, Nanava, O oh, Daityas, O oh, Shambhara, O oh, Shadabahu, come here. Please assemble all the demons immediately. Go down to the planet Earth, which is really wonderful because of the Brahmanical culture and a wonderful Kshatriya government. Destroy everything. Kill all the cows. Kill all the Brahmanas. Kill everyone who is following the regulative principles. Kill everyone who is following the austerity, charity, and Vedic culture. Cut all the trees from the roots. You also Kill everyone you see, all the children. Get those children to me. <laughs> then I will be very happy. I will teach a lesson to all those Vaishnavas who are followers of my enemy Vishnu. Then I will go to Mandara Mountain to do a wonderful penance and a very austere penance to please my Lord Brahma. I will get a benediction, very special one, and then I will find my enemy Vishnu and I will kill him! <laughs>
to the next scene. Hiranyakashipu left his kingdom and went to the mountain known as Mandarachala to execute severe austerities. Hiranyakashipu's wife Kayadu was pregnant at that time and the demigods, headed by Indra, arrested her. Poor lady, mistakenly thinking that she carried another demon in her womb. Their plan was to, as soon as the child was born, they would kill him. While Indra was taking Kayadu to the heavenly planets, they met the sage Narada Muni. Godhead. 
You are the best of the givers of all the benediction. If you are pleased with my penance, please give me one benediction that will always remain immortal. Oh, Hinakashibu, even I am not immortal, how can I give you that benediction? Please ask for something else. If you cannot give me the benediction of immortality, then give me this one benediction that I will not be killed by any of the living entities created by you. I will not be killed by any weapon. I will not be killed by man or a beast. I will not be killed by the demigods. I will not be killed by the Kinnaras, by the Yakshas, or by the Gandharvas. I will not die in the day or night. I will not die inside or outside. I will not die in the land or in the water or in the air. Oh Lord Brahma, if you are pleased with my benediction, please offer this blessings upon me. Oh son of Titi, the kind of benediction which you are asking is very rare for any human beings to get. But because of your extreme penance and austerity, I am going to grant you that benediction today. <laughs> Demoniac king. 
I am very eager to learn what you are learning there. Please tell me, what is the best thing that you have learned from your teachers at the Gurukula? Oh my dear father, the best amongst demons. A man in the material consciousness who thinks this is mine and that belongs to my enemy is always anxious. Such a person should give up his household or life. He should go to Vrindavan, take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Goddess and become Krishna conscious. Oh. Alas! Alas! The consciousness of this child is being spoiled by the poisonous word of those Vaishnavas who are getting into my Gurukula. Did you talk to any of the Vaishnavas? My dear demon, come here. Take Prahalad back to the Gurukul and completely protect him for, from those Vaishnavas who may disguise and get into the Gurukula and teach him all these Vaishnava qualities so that his intelligence will not be further influenced by those nonsense Vaishnava philosophies. <laughs> Your wish is our command. Okay. servants brought the boy Prahlad back to the Gurukul. The priests of the demons, Sanna and Amarka, sons of the demon priest Shukracharya, pacified him with very mild voices and affectionate words. They inquired from him, how are you doing my son? Let's teach you all the demoniac qualities now and make your father very satisfied and happy with you. Nursing Day from Mayapur, the Ugra Nursing Day. 
but I don't want to hold on to the drama for too long, so I'm going to go backstage. And maybe in another 30 seconds, we'll open up the curtain. your friends close and your enemies closer. That is what we call diplomacy. Yeah. All, exploit your friends. Okay? Conquer the enemy. Earn more money. Cheat everyone. Okay? Do not chant lost names. Dear son Salhar, Dear son I repeat, do not speak lies. Just reply with the truth. All these boys you see, they are not like you, for they do not speak in a deviant way. How have you learned this instruction? How has your intelligence been spoiled in this way? Oh, best among your family, where does this pollution, this pollution of intelligence come from? Is it by your own accord? Or is it merely by the enemy? Please, we are your teachers and we would love to know. Tell us the truth. Oh, Brahmana, just as iron is automatically attracted by magnet, my consciousness is attracted by Lord Vishnu. I have no independence. Pranhat, we really want you to pay attention to the knowledge of politics and diplomacy, pacifying the public leaders, appeasing them by offering them lucrative posts, dividing and ruling over them, punishing them in case of any disobedience, exploiting friends, conquering enemies. A good demon should become expert at all this. This is very true. <laughs> But currently we have some very important business to attend. So we expect all of you to be on your best behavior and study hard. 
and to concentrate on what we have told thee. All right. Especially you, young Prahlad.
decided to bring him back to King Hiranyakashipu. Oh my master, your son Pralad has to him very well in the food. My dear son Prahlad, please come here. You have been gone for a very long time. You were in Gurukul, learning a lot of wonderful things. Come here, sit on my lap. Your teachers are praising you very nicely. You have learned a lot of wonderful things like politics. How to cheat others. <laughs> now, I am so eager to learn. Tell me, what is the best thing that you have learned from your teacher, Sandana Marka, at the Gurukula? Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padi, Vedanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani, Vedanam, Ethi, Vishnu, Bhakti, Shenava, Lakshina, Kritya, Bhagavati Adhanam Manya Nittam Uttamam Hearing and chanting about the Considering the Lord one best friend Surrendering everything onto him These nine methods are accepted as pure devotion to your One who dedicates his life through these nine methods, acquire complete knowledge and is the most learned person. Santa Marta, you rascals! Come here! Come here! Unqualified, most heinous son of Brahmanas. You disobeyed my order and took the shelter of my enemy Vishnu. I ordered you to teach my Prahlad all the demoniac qualities. But you, on the other hand, and you taught him devotional service to my enemy Vishnu like a menial servant. What is this nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emily of King Indra, O oh, King, whatever your son Pallad had said was not taught to him by me or anyone else. His spontaneous devotional service has built in him. So please. Please, excuse us, it is not a good time to insult a Brahmana in this way. You rascal Prahalad, if you haven't learned any of this from your teacher Sandana Marga, where did you learn this knowledge from? Because of their uncontrolled senses, persons too addicted to the materialistic life may progress to a hellish condition and repeatedly chew that which has already been chewed. Their inclination toward Krishna cannot be aroused by the instructions of others, by their own efforts, or by a combination of both. Mm. You learn devotional service. <laughs> you are no longer my son, Prahlad. You are an enemy to me! Sharabahu! Come here! Take this Prahalad immediately! Take him away! He became the enemy of the, all the demons! Now he is killer of my brother, Hiranyaksha! He deserves to be killed!
demon, demon soldiers tried to kill Prahlad in thousands of ways. With their tridents and swords, they fed him deadly poison, threw him off the cliff, put him in a pit with poisonous snakes, threw him into the sea and put a boulder on him. But nothing, nothing, not a thing worked. No matter what they tried, Prahlad was always saved by Lord Vishnu. When the news was brought to hear Nikashipu, he began to get very depressed because nothing was working and he lost his bodily luster. Sanda and Amarka, being the smarter pra Brahmins that they were, tried to cheer him up, their demon king. Prahlad is just a little boy. He will grow out of this, my king. This is just out of immaturity. When you raise your eyebrows, the entire universe trembles with fear. So don't worry about this little impudent boy. But Sanna and Amarka noticed one day that following the instructions of Prahlad, all the sons of the demons became attached to Lord Vishnu. They were alarmed. The Supreme Personality of Godhead was being worshipped by these little boys. When this attachment became pronounced, Sanna and Amarka became very much afraid and the boys would become more and more devoted to the Lord. In a helpless condition, they approached Hiranyakashipu and described in detail the effect of Prahlad's preaching. After hearing of this, Hiranyakashipu became extremely agitated and decided to kill his own little son, Prahlad, himself. happened to him. He was always praying to Lord Vishnu and saying Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya which was protecting him over and over again no matter what Hiranyakashipu and his demon soldiers tried to do for him. They tried in many different ways, tried to kill him, tried to send snakes his way and everything and no matter what they did, Prahlad Maharaj was always, you know, not agitated in any way and completely dependent on Lord Vishnu, his Lord and nothing was going to change him and nothing was going to affect him in any way. And Hirani Kishapu was getting more and more frustrated and really was getting angrier and angrier until he was ready to kill Lord Vishnu himself.
you maintain everything. Oh my Lord, please accept my humble obeisances unto your lotus feet. Now that, now that this insignificant demon hidden my has been killed, oh my Lord, who is naturally affectionate to your devotee, kindly protect his son Prahla Maharaj, who is standing nearby as your fully surrendered devotee. Oh, son Prahla, hidden my cousin. Narsinka Devi is very angry because of your dominion father. Please go and control him. Lord, Oh, my God. 